All right, so Maybe last what? time on Sleeping Dragon's Wake, um, you decided to pursue some uh, some bandits that were uh, robbing supplies from the main road, um, supplies that were meant to, to help Leylon. Um, remember, the uh, name of the game is the Chimera Squad, because, surprise, they have a pet Chimera whose uh, owner, woman named... Riga, I believe. Riga Sworn. Um, raised it as a little Chimera pup and uh, is now the namesake of the gang. However, um, as you're going to the tower in the Mirror of Dead Men where they make their hideout, um, you saw... Our, I, I guess this is new for um, for Sally and Zizix, but uh, yep. you saw a... Um, a, a horde of undead being chased through the swamp. Um, and it turns out they're being chased by two members of the Chimera Squad. Um, and the undead zombies had uh, symbols of Merkel on their forehead, much like the other ones you found in the past. Um, and after the undead were taken care of, these Chimera Squad members didn't want any witnesses, so they attempt to take care of you, but you made quick work of them. Quick work of them. And, um... When you got to the tower, you kind of... You managed to sneak up on the place. Um, Louis Sula managed to sneak into the tower itself, get a good look around. Sorry, a feeding pit where Riga was, uh... was, uh, feeding her pet. Uh, you saw a bunch of guards in a, uh, small camp. And um, after some back and forth on your sending stone, um, Verifus totally, let out totally, totally. Uh, Verifus let out a huge psychic blast on the enemy camp, killing half of them, wounding um, the other half. Um, but it was just too much for her. She collapsed on the ground, and she won't be here for this battle. And at the same time, uh, Luisilla used that as a signal to get a, get a, a, a sneak attack on Riga. So she left from her perched with her short swords drawn. The one short and, sword. And um, one short sword, one dagger. And managed to stab her in the back. But actually, I'm going to retcon that final part just a tiny bit. Just give me a roll of stealth with advantage, just to see if she spots you. Yep. It's gonna be pretty easy. So, oh no, I thought you wanted me to roll it, um, just to re-roll it, to re-roll it, but not with advantage, because I, I'm exhausted, remember? Yeah, we found, um, found out that, like, these types of checks aren't, um... No. no oh wait, I think... I'm always confused about which which um you were there, Bun, for the for the other game. Is this, is a cell check one of these checks that get? I don't remember if it's, it's skills, but uh, it's disadvantage to ability checks, but mm. not saving throws. But I can't remember if it's skills. That might be for second exhaustion. Yeah, maybe. Regardless, that's high enough. I was gonna say it's a stealth check, and it's me. I'd be yeah. shocked if I didn't make it. <laughs> So you jump down, get the jump on her. Verifus is not here, and uh, in the seconds before this battle starts, how does Sally and Zizix approach the team, or approach the uh, the tower? Um, maybe Zizix uh, was tracked the group with like uh, his his native ways like uh, like animal tracks and Sally was right behind like following suit and, and scanning the yeah, sniffing scanning the horizon because she got that uh, helmet of alertness now so nothing can sneak up on uh, on on her so she's been scanning for enemies while they were following the team and we originally got this for uh, there were uh, new notices or uh, new jobs on the job board yeah I was fine with that there was a more exciting one to do, but if you're with 
some of our main characters missing. We'll wait till next week. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, so as Psychic Blast goes off, a couple other, well, one other bandit comes running from one of the tents. He's like, oh, heck. And so do, well, three more bandits come running from the tents. Let's roll for initiative. Again. Again, this is going to be a big battle episode. Uh, my uh, Monday night, or excuse me, my Friday night game before the weekend was 100% roleplay <laughs> because we were um, starting a new campaign. So I am down oh. for battle heavy. There we go. Okay, cool. You're doing... um. Port of the Dragon Queen, right? Is that... No, we're doing Rise of Tiamat. Oh, yeah, that's part two of that, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay, Clint. My health is where it should be. I'm like, my health is a bit high. Why is... Why health? am I full health? <laughs> no, I'm a You're little not... injured. It's not... Hmm. It's not let me do my role. I, I know you're probably tired, but you sound so drunk. <laughs> <laughs> You would never. Don't presume. Um, for uh, the new people, he, he, you have any questions about what's going on here? Uh, we're going to kill these, beat these guys up, right? Yep, you decided to sneak into the tower. Um, you found a, a hole in one of the walls, and uh, he used that to uh, kind of sneak in. Hey, oh, uh, your attack. Yo, could you put me in manually? Cause I'm not, it's not letting me do it. Me and Zizix, we got the same numbers, man, with the best. Ooh. And these guys on the walls, are, are they, like, up, they're, like they're above us? Above. Yeah, they're above. They, they are above. Ramparts. Yeah, they're above on a wall. Okay. They're on ramparts. Did they, and they see us they or no? <laughs> yeah, probably. Once, once uh, Verifus yelled out his attack and half the, half the uh, camp died, uh, yeah, they heard you. They know they know you're there. Uh, just a, essentially the um, uh, the quest is that there's these bandits that are looting the um, uh, like uh, supplies that are going past on the road and such. So we're asked to either uh, slaughter them or to scare them off so they leave the area. Okay, I like one of those options better than the other. Yeah, the slaughtering. I mean, we've already got. You already had a good chunk of them. <laughs> and they're called the Chimera something. Chimera, Chimera gang. Oh. The Chimera crew. Oh. Chimera crew. Right. This, this no one's listening to my recaps. I already explained all this. <laughs> recap. I was going to say, I, I was, dude, I'm <laughs> half awake and I heard him what he was saying. <laughs> but we were all relatively close. So yeah. just a uh, little um, thing. You did find a pit of snakes right here, but since you know it's there, you were able to cross these this uh, ten by ten space as uh, difficult terrain. Didn't I put a rope across that? Something uh, like that, yeah. Uh, you put a rope across the river. Mm -mm. No, you put, put a rope across, across the snake pit. Yeah, but you're Lily able to find Sula a. Sula you're able to find a. You're able to find a narrow enough spot, but it's going to be double speed. And um, you notice a horrific smell coming from this area over here. It's being blocked off by um, by various debris and uh, wooden planks. This music isn't very exciting. Here, I'll pick something better. Hold this one. It's called Clash of Kings. I thought it would, I thought it would be like clashy. Yeah. Okay. So Sally and Zizix come running up because they heard the uh, the, the pain cries of of everyone, and they heard the chimera roar in the distance as its master is uh, stabbed in the back. Sally, what do you do? Right. 
I would like to cast on this area, Shatter at level 3. Well, that kills people. Well, yeah, exactly. Get those. I don't know if you necessarily can see them. Um, oh. Alright, if well, I can't... If I you might be able to... Are... If you move into the uh, area first, you might be able to. Yeah, let me just see how tall these things are. If I can't see them, then I retract my spell. Who? Uh, Alright. Let's say since they're high up, um, they're like 20 feet up, that they'll get an advantage. Well, you know what? You know they're there. You can you can do it. Okay. All right. So I do it. So that means it hits all it, four yeah. of them. 19 thunder damage. Uh, you see 15. I was going to say, don't think it's a roll. This is how you make your entrance. The entire front of the, uh, the entire front of the tower, just shakes as, and blocks begin to uh, begin to fall off. Okay, so it's 19 damage. So all of them but one fail, or even pass. Aww. one of them just fly out, falls. Into the moat. The rest are quite literally shaken. Not so half damage. Big half damage. And with my movement, I guess I could go here, right? Um, that will be inside the pit. You can do that. All right. So there's. That's like I. Here, you don't have to. You don't have to start away, you can start right here. Alright. You'll be able to go inside. Alright. Looking for an excuse to try out our new shield. Oh yeah, everyone's, everyone's has new toys. Well, good thing you walked in. Now all these guys have a target. Since uh, Verifist is technically isn't here anymore, whatever lingering effect these had um, isn't gonna isn't gonna work. So it comes up, pulls out a crossbow, seven misses as they aim for the small child. Really, they are the worst. I knew they were brigands. Do you have no shame? Asprush takes his front paws, and he gives like pounding at the door. And as Riga's recovering, she just goes, "Son of a!" Just oh, like beep. <laughs> looks at Lou Sula, looks past, back at Asprush, and says. Patient, my pets. He's gonna hold an action. Scout is gonna aim towards Louis Tula. What? He's gonna what? This um, this archer is gonna take a shot at Louis Tula. Two shots. Twenty-two. I mean, twenty-one. You take nine piercing damage. Give me a second. God, I'm just gonna. Yeah, I'm not really rage. I'm gonna do my nimble dodge business. Cut that in half. Yep. Okay. <sighs> Another crossbow, at Sally. Wait. Fifteen. Misses. Fifteen misses. Up. Another crossbow, with Sally. Ten misses. Mm -hmm. 
two longbow attacks from one of the scouts on the uh, on the wall. Does a twenty hit? I don't think it does. Twenty does hit. Okay, you take nine piercing damage. Damn. Let's see here. Um. Riga takes out a key from one of her pockets and unlocks the Chimera's cage. And she uses Disson. Wait, she uses. She uses a disengage to leap on top of um, the staircase that Lily Sula uh, leapt off of. And the Chimera lets out a fire breath attack. Lily Sula want to make a, you to make a dexterity saving throw. As the breath hits you, mm-hmm. yeah, just tell me the numbers, man. <laughs> I, have to, I have to go to a different site because this one doesn't allow this many dice. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> like I, I just will admit. I think you should. Yeah, you you don't have, I'd say if you had evasion, but I don't think you. I've you already use. used it, Dustin. <laughs> yeah. I didn't think that the Chimera would use a breath weapon. From inside the damn cage. <laughs> you technically could have done it, you know, with her there, but she didn't want her. Uh, take 43 fire damage. Ouch. Deep fried, deep fried yeah, well, I reduce, drought. I, I reduced the, uh, I reduced the, the crossbow. But I'm like, yeah, nine damage. Let's cut that down to five. Whatever. Oh, not knowing, I... Whatever. It's whatever. I'll get her. That's okay. Alright, Lemon. Um... I am... Uh, let's see. Let's see, five... Right, ten... Eight. I can get this far... Uh, I'm going to, uh, a- after seeing that, uh, I am going to do uh, cure wounds on Lily Sula. Right. Gain 18 health back. Now mm. uh, that's it. You're okay, it's your turn, Lucilla. Thank you, Lemon. Rika's not a... She's not adjacent to anybody, is she? The, uh, no, you're... You're by Lemon, basically. Rika's on a elevated, uh, position. Uh, though, remember that um, uh, sneak attack, I think, can also be done by ranged weapons. Yeah, it can be. That's what I'm... You can you can run up there, no problem. She can't do an opportunity attack on you. I'm not going to melee nobody right now. I'm crazy. I'm crazy, I'm not that crazy. Yeah, I'm going to get to the cover here. That's, what is that? That's... Why is that not working? Whatever. That was... Yeah, that's good enough. Yeah, that's 20 feet. I don't know why that's not working for me. Anyway. 
And I'm gonna take a shot with my crossbow. We're not gonna do anything risky at all today. No, oh, ma'am. Oh my god, really? Where were you? Okay. <laughs> that is definitely Whatever. a hit. I'm taking numbers. But guess who else can do it? Um, guess who else has in Candy Dodge? Oh no. Oh no. No, somebody just keeps shooting her. She can only do it once before a turn. Yep. So that's what she does. She goes, you got, you got the jump on me once, but not again. No, it's going to keep happening, but sorry. I mean, well, no, dice rolls pending. I, I can't. Right <laughs> now, I, I can't talk any trash right now. I, I, am, I am at God's mercy right now, so it's whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it's so far, you know, I'm, I'm glad I'm not gambling right now, so. A crossbow attack to Lemon. 14 misses. Alright, Zizek's your turn. Okay. Zizek, so you said that we could move across the snake pit at half, half move? Yep, half speed. It's like difficult terrain. We're gonna move in next to Sally. I don't like how she's getting all this attention. And <laughs> um, we are going to first. Uh, are you telling me that us. the jobbers rolled like I normally do? What the heck? Where's my. Oh, I closed out a DD Beyond an accident, sorry. We need that to play. Yeah, that's a. <laughs> It's an important one. <laughs> yeah. Well, that um, that uh, breath was pretty good. Rolls, I think, up below a three, or below a four. Well, the first thing we are going to cast is we are going to summon a an elemental, and it's going to uh -huh. be an earth elemental. Ooh. That was going to be one of those new ones. You chunky boy. Not yet. I don't want to do a new one yet. And I can move him in the 90 feet, so we're going to put him right there. Roar. Okay, so that is... You're summoning an elemental spirit, right? Uh, summon elemental. Yeah, I am summoning Wait. someone. Oh, this is the wrong one. Got it. Sorry. Thank you. Yeah, those are spoiler. Those are that's your new um, wild shape. Yep. yep. Oh man, sorry. But I, it takes two slots to do it, so I don't do it that often. All right, he is going to be Earth, and he is going to be right there, distracting these bad boys. And then for a bonus action, Zizix is going to wild shape into a giant. Scorpion. Scuttle, scuttle. And he gives uh, Sally a clicks, a couple clicks, and a smile. The idea of a scorpion uh, smiling is terrifying. <laughs> Sally is unfazed. <clears throat> right, make sure to reset your hit points. Yep. Done. Uh, okay. Uh, can the elemental attack? Yes, he's gonna go. Yeah, he'll, he'll go exactly after me. So he is going to on the um, one to his south, directly below him. He is gonna take a couple of whomps on him. Going to do two slam attacks. A twenty-two and a twenty-six. Both those hit. Four, seven, and a fourteen damage, respectively. Right, he's still standing, but 
the rock slams most of his armor off as this thing just rises from the, the ground below. That is Zizix's turn. Alright. Do you think that if I transform into something that has more movement speed that I could move a little more? Uh, logically, that makes sense, yeah. Uh, you would have used up the amount of movement that you've already used, but your max right. would have increased, probably. So I move up one more. Okay. Oh, okay, I get what you're saying. Yeah. Alright, one of the scouts on the wall will make two longbow attacks to Maruk. Alright. Oldness. Huzzah! And the next one falls suit. It's a 15 <laughs> hit. Nope. Thank you, new shield. I am very glad. I am very grateful for it. Let's say these guys' attention right now are on the elemental that just sprung up by their feet. Two long sword attacks. Uh, Twenty-three. The elemental takes seven slashing damage. Are those mentals resistant to slashing? You tell me, Bryce, are they? Oh, the uh, Earth Elemental is resistant to slashing. Yes. Slashing. And then half that. Awesome. Say that damage again. Uh, it was seven, so uh, three slashing. He laughs. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Green giant. One of these scouts attacked the scorpion twice with a longbow. 23. <laughs> the scor scorpion yeah. takes six six piercing. Okay. Alright, Maruk. Uh, Maruk sees that things aren't. things are a little hairy and decides to pair for the worst. So he's going to be right between Sally and Lemon. Touch both of them, and using Twin Spell, cast Enhance Ability, uh, Cat's Grace, on them. What is that? Ooh. Um, advantage on Dexterity checks, and you don't take damage from falling 20 feet or less. Hmm. If it, if it, if it isn't incapacitated. So, hold on, let me... You know, the pink is Kitty Grace. Meow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, uh... And as my bonus action, I'm actually going to be burning one of my spell slots to get back to spell to sorcery points that okay. I just spent. Sally, your turn. All right, I'm going to do a repeat of what I did last time. I'm going to, from that location uh, over here, I'm going to cast Shatter to try to not uh, finish off the, the last three up on top. Okay. Oh, shit. That sucked. Yeah, shoot. Oh, shoot. For that. Shoot, that sucked. Uh... Luckily, two of them hit as the shards of rock kind of pierces their uh, their feet and their legs. They fall over, but this one only takes four damage. Four damage, but it's looking hurt. It's dead. Uh, what symbol are you? Oh, uh, I should mention that the enhanced ability is a con concentration spell. The f Mark gave me some cool icons to use, but I didn't include this game yet. So, I'm just gonna do. 
this person. Um, okay, so this, this uh, bandit's going to attack the elemental twice. Does 16 hit? The elemental of 16 does hit. Okay, elemental take. This is after resistance, uh, two slashing. Okay. Ash breath. Stomps out of his cage. I got to roll for uh, his breath weapon again. Uh. Oh, it's out. God. <laughs> yep. Uh, Riga unlocked the door. Of course she did. Oh, yeah. What? Yeah, that sounds about right. What, do you think it blew through the door with its fire breath? <laughs> I'm gonna walk right here. Hey, how come it, it how, how was it able to attack last time? It blew a fire through the door. No. No, okay, here's what happened. Riga unlocked the door. When the door opened, the Chimera had a held action of fire breath. Ah, so when, okay. Yeah. Nothing was stopping the fire breath, but it would have hit, um, hit Riga. Right. Uh, used used her action to unlock it. And, okay. Yes. Okay. Otherwise, Lily Sula would have been stabbed in the face. All right. So, in one in one single action, both of the heads, um, and the and the claws, reach out to uh, Sally, Maruk, and lemon um so the dragon head bites at sally it's a 21 hit 21 does hit you take 13 piercing damage christ Joe, the, uh, take whatever it is you roll just take two away from it okay you were too lucky <laughs> i i had to i had to take you with me to las vegas or something man we'll play craps and we'll always win seriously kid can I come? Uh, don't actually no. Don't bring I'm me. Yeah. Say, cheesy Pete's Joey. You are amazing the, um, at playing it rolling. <laughs> the uh, the goat head rams into Maruk. Does a seventeen hit? Just matches. You take twelve bludgeoning damage. Oh, okay. And I get to roll for concentration. Yep. Luckily, hi, luckily I have Warcaster. Oh yeah, curse you! Yay. Oh, well there it is. Well, that, that's one fail. That one's good. And then the lion head's gonna hit um, lemon. I know it's his claws, but actually, they both would have succeeded. My, uh, my aura. Oh yeah. Well, no, oh, it yeah. had to be above a ten. Oh, it's oh, plus it five. Been above a 10. You're right. Yeah. Okay. Um, Lemon, you take thirteen slashing damage. So, um, I have a question. Uh, can I use my reaction now for my um, my repulsor shield? Because I was hit with a melee attack, where it would have bit me, right? So I could use yep. my repulsor. I could use my repulsor shield to shoot back fifteen feet. You get oh, so it's like a vibranium and it shoots back a pulse. Yeah, and I want to push it 15 feet, possibly, if, if you allow it, into the snake pit. Okay. In the direction of the snake um, pit. Uh, well... I mean, it would be pushing, right? So you couldn't push in the opposite direction that, you're, that he's facing. Yeah. Um, Alright, so what is this repulsor shield? Is it, like... Four charges. We need to actually yeah, we can't like attack so I'm just to... Oh, it doesn't hurt the no. hurt them, it just pushes them away. Yes, and I want to push them into the snake pit. Uh he's just facing the wrong direction. Damn it. Oh. I wanna push him back into the room. You can push him into the wall, like five feet. That's about it. 
And technically, you get a attack of opportunity. I do. And and I do too, don't I? Oh no, wait. It's not. I'm no. still in range. It's yeah, just you. All right. So I get an attack of opportunity. This, this is what I planned the entire time. Um. Oh, so limit. Oh, limit. You take a uh, thirteen slashing. I don't know if you heard me. No, you, I already got it. Uh, it's just. Oh, not, right. It's not updating yet for some reason. So, with the attack of opportunity, is it like a just one hit, or because I got two attacks for my uh, for my character? It's, it's a one hit. Yeah, it's just yeah, one attack. All right. Uh, uh, refresh. Uh, refresh roll twenty. See if that. Fixes it. I'll, I'll get it. Don't worry. All right. So, I will use my Iqua. Ah, oh, that's a crab roll. The hell? We have to have to we have to attack. That was it, right? Oh, you have to oh, roll the damage. full attack. You have to roll. Oh, the... You've been playing this game for a year. You roll like you. That's a hit. I'll use the eight. There you go. Okay. Congratulations. Yay! <laughs> Try not to sound so defeated, Shelly. It dies. Oh no! <laughs> what? No. No. It was a glass cannon. Uh, it explodes with arrows shooting out of it that hits all of the bandits. <laughs> it somehow misses all of us. Congratulations, you saved the day. To get out of here. <laughs> the, the chimera was their mascot. They're just like lost the fighting spirit with it gone. <laughs> well, it was like a pinata. It just like. <laughs> uh. Two longbow attacks to the scorpion. Um, does a 17 hit? Who? The, the scorpion. scorpion, Bryce. Joy rolling straight fire again. <laughs> you there, Bryce? I see your thing trying to light up. So you mute, you're probably muted, homie. Are you muted? Mm -hmm. okay, well. we'll assume yes <laughs> so yeah uh, 17 does hit no. alright that wasn't you take, you take uh, 7 piercing damage from each one of these arrows and roll 2 and roll uh, 2 cons saves <sighs> of course there one. shit poisoned of course there's another <laughs> now it's for my spell I barely oh. passed Okay. I just made that one. Amazing. For putting these uh, elemental between these veterans, that's what they're <laughs> focused on right now. Good plan, by the way. That's so smart. Does a 17 hit the elemental? Yes. Right. This is after a reduction. Take six slashing and five slashing. Zizix and his stuff. Yeah, I know, right? Of course, Zizix. Teach you to miss one of my games again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already and then four... up. And then the elemental takes another four damage from another one. That's dead. Okay, Riga. What do you want? Ah. Uh, she pulls out her crossbow. Well, you know what? Say that again? Hmm. I don't decide what to do. Oh. Should sneak attack. Now she's mad. She runs up at you. Oh. Pulls out her... Pulls out her knife, pulls out rolls her, uh... 25, and does 83 damage. God. <laughs> anyway, what's, what's your what's your AC? Um, uh, well, it's it's gonna be nineteen here in a minute. <laughs> if, you, if you're gonna be swinging at me. <laughs> okay, is it nineteen? Hold on a second. Let me double check it real quick. 
Uh... Oh, wait. No, 20. Yeah, it'll be 20. What's that ability again? Remind uh, me, just... If I'm wielding a finesse weapon, which I'm proficient, and another creature hits you with a melee attack, you can use your reaction to add 4 to your AC for that attack. 16 plus 4 is 20. Oh, just, just one attack? Cuss words, yes. Okay. For my one reaction. She's making three against you. So. What level is this woman? <laughs> How does she have three attacks? This. She's a master spy. I hate that. Okay. So as she, as she as she as she as she lunges down, you manage to parry that one easily out of the way. Uh -huh. But then she retaliates with, um. Does a 16 hit? That meets me. So she retaliates with one more, nicks you in the side for 10 piercing. Ow! And then, <laughs> as, you're, as you go ow, you grab your side, she uh, nicks you on the other side too, and you take 9 piercing damage. So I assume an 18 will also hit you. <laughs> Alright, lemon. Oi. Um. Well, I'd like to go and help that, but uh, kind of busy at the moment. You're uh, fine. You um. Actually. Okay, this is looking a little dire, so ends up uh, basically doing a Dragon Ball Z scream, and uh, suddenly uh, ends up basically turning yellow, wings sprout out of his back, and uh, uh, eyes just suddenly glow. And uh, annoyingly, that takes an action to do. Um, but... Uh, it's going to help in future ones. Uh, but also in the meantime, we'll do a healing word on Lily. Is this the thing where you uh, sprout wings? Yep. So he looks angelic at the moment. The chimera kind of looks at you as the wings sprout up and it kind of like gets his wings ready as if he might have to see. take make pursuit or take pursuit all right is that is that your turn uh yeah that's all i can do all right lily sula how much do i heal for 10 you said yep 10 She was a one health. <laughs> I was. All right. God, there's like. Okay, I'm going to do my best. So, I'm just going to do my... I don't know, man. I, uh... Any, any attacks that uh, do a lot of damage? Or... Yeah, y yes, maybe, I don't know. Hold on a second. I mean, just remember you, you get the you have after. <laughs> what? Yeah, you, you have sneak attack. I do have sneak attack, but I've also got my crossbow out. So, um, I, I mean, what's what's the confusion? You can attack her with your your knives. 
yeah, we're gonna see. Wake up, wake up, Randy, wake up. Oh, damn it. Hmm. You just say damn it to a 19? <laughs> no, Snap out I, of it. I did it wrong. I did the button, the wrong button, but there you go. Alright. I think that's the. Nice. Yeah. You, you, you aim, um, upwards directly to her stomach and uh she backs away the sword and only takes um takes half of that damage yeah well she's gonna get hit again gets a smile on his face when she sees uh, it not she's the sneak attack dodged. damage just the four damage one um yep she'll have to take that yep. right do you run away yes we're getting close to my friends. <laughs> oh, all right, boys. That's all I can do. You're to, to your friends closer to the Chimera. Yeah, I mean, what, what am I supposed to do? Do I go this way towards the death, or do I go this way towards the death? Or do I stand right next to the wood chipper? I don't. There's like, <laughs> there's not much I can do right now. <laughs> um. Well, just so they know, you could and run I up. A, and I'm an idiot who, who blew his load on a on using my uh, my fey fire on an inconsequential encounter today. So, I have I have a lot of egg on my face right now, Joey. <laughs> so, so you can go up to the ramparts. These stairs head up in that direction. Yeah. Uh, I get real weird real fast, man. I don't want to do that. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm just letting you know you have options. I know I do. Crossbow. You can scorpion also... misses. But you can also like help with snake pit. Huh? Alright. Zizix. I feel like I need... I'm gonna take care of this this crowd down here. So Zizek is gonna come down to these guys and try to clean these up. Um, he's gonna swat at the one, two. He has three attacks. We're gonna do two claw attacks to the one on his bottom left, and those are going to be the following rolls. Six and a twelve. Yeah, both of those miss. Boom. And then the uh, one on the other side, to his bottom right, is going to get a sting for a thirteen. Yeah, miss. Dang, scorpion sucks. These guys have a. Uh, you got plus yeah. four is pretty good, but these guys have a uh, noticeably heavy armor. On. Okay. Okay. Um. And so that was all of Zizix's turn. Um, except he is actually going to do one thing. He is going to. No, that. Uh, hold on a second. I need to make sure that combat as a bonus action. Yeah, I'm going to do a bonus action to expend a second level spell slot to heal 2d8. <laughs> and um, then it's going to be the elemental's turn. He is going to do his two slam attacks on that same one. Okay. Twelve and a fifteen. Miss. miss. <laughs> and that was with plus sevens, so. Wow. And that is uh, Zizix and Elemental's turn. Good job. You basically <laughs> didn't do anything. I did absolutely uh, nothing. <laughs> I think this is more than grogginess of being sleepy. You know, I guess I think I'm getting sick. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. I hear Don't you. Don't say that. Yeah, we're already... How, we're much, already how, how much liquor how have you had today? Not, a, not any at all, because I don't really drink anymore. I'm like... There's a good chance that the Rona has infiltrated my fortress. Oh no! According to my roommates, so... 
I think I'm starting to feel it. You and think I this think could be... I might actually have it. <laughs> you think this might be, uh, what's the word, Munchausen syndrome? Maybe. you. That might be true, too. Like, maybe I'm so paranoid about it that... I, but I don't know. I mean, I could taste everything. That chili mac was delicious. Got a fever? <laughs> yeah, I am toasty. I am toasty. Mm. Uh, well, this, uh, you know, rest up. Yeah, that's... Does a 17 hit... Does a 17 hit Sally? 17 does not hit Sally. Alright. Veteran's going to take two shots at... Scorpion, both miss. That's what he gets for not playing Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Stay over there! <laughs> <laughs> Two longbow shots miss. See, my rolls are bad. Okay, I'm missing a lot. They can be, they can be. No, it's only they when move. you're attacking me when the magic happens. Because oh. I'm the yeah. literal well, unluckiest person on Earth. <laughs> having noticed that... Having noticed that Rieger has already dodged one shot today, has already one, has already dodged one thing. Decides that turns to her and decides to go, "Hey, dodge this," and casts Chromatic Orb at a second level. Um. Okay. Is a 17 hit. 17 hit. It does. It does. And it does. 17. Let's go. Poison damage. Poison. Okay, she's looking really bad. And then, as a bonus action, I use Quicken Spell to cast Firebolt. What? As, which, That's a miss. Whiff, that, which whiffs? Well, they can't... Hey, hey, at least my main attack hit. And I'm just gonna... I'm good right where I'm at, so... Right. So, my turn then. Yep, Sally's turn. Right, Sally takes aim at this last person here that uh, keeps evading uh, death and uh, fires her crossbow. 13 just hits him. And he falls over backwards into the into the moat. Nice. Complete with a Wilhelm scream. Bloosh. And then, let's see here. Hmm, what should I do next? Hey, I suggest if you can hit, if you still have an attack, well, you don't, oh, I you have one attack. Yeah. Why don't you attack her since she's slow on health? All right, I will take aim and fire my second crossbow bolt at her. Knocks it away as it comes towards you. Or, or com uh, comes towards her. She already used that this turn. I, he missed. All right, I would like oh. to use my Flash of Genius to add a plus three to that roll to make it a 20. He thinks she knocks it away, but how do you want to. Are you doing this non lethally? I am doing this uh, non lethally. So it was like a like a, a boxing glove arrow straight to the to the noggin. How about how about it? Uh, the arrow like catches the her cloak and like goes into the wall, and she's like pinned up against the wall. I like the or, boxing glove no, 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 more. No, or, or, or no, it, if it's non lethal, it, the 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 thing she knocks it away, but it gets caught on her outfit, and then she loses balance and she trips down the stairs and is out cold. Okay. Lily Sula coughing up blood. 
Ha! That's what you get! Sicking your Camaro on me with stupid breath. He yells out as she falls. Uh, ooh, uh, uh. And she goes, Chimeras fight to the death! Oh, no, they don't. <laughs> yeah, they do. <laughs> no, they don't. She's, no. she's knocked out. <laughs> Getting into an argument with a half unconscious woman. Yeah. Two unconscious women like, yelling at each other. <laughs> it's like, that's not fair. That's not fair. You're not fair. <laughs> Boy, it's not fair. <laughs> if it was, we'd all get what was coming to us. This guy... Um, calls out, Boss! He will run up. Scorpion gets attacked for opportunity. I'm, uh, Scorpion is going to... Do I get to choose which attack I use? If I can do claws or tail? Yep. Okay, I'm gonna try to do a tail attack. Uh, the golem too. Yeah, the uh, elemental gets an attack <laughs> opportunity as well. Okay. True. Well, you Six can see that one. roll. <laughs> Alright, let's see if the elemental can do anything. Nope. All right. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna refresh D and D Beyond. Maybe that'll clear out the bad rolls. The demons. <laughs> Reset the RNG engine. Yeah. Hard re refresh. I rolled a two and I a three on those. This guy runs up. Goes, boss. Chimeras fight to the death. We need mirrors. They. Greater healing potion. Sorry. No! Oh, wow. You're supposed to stab her! <laughs> she regains some hit points. I she's that. still unconscious, right? Nope, that'll bring her back up. Shit, shit. I mean, shoot, shoot. Yeah. Should have killed her when I had the chance. Chimera kind of coughs as uh, flames come out of the uh, the dragon head, little sparks, and then a uh, a like a little fireball puffs out. And if dragons could smile, then he would be smiling. I hate this animal. Yeah, too bad he can't get. He go right there. But he lets out a, a cone of fire, and Maruk and Lily Sula make a dexterity saving throw with whatever bonuses Lemon's giving you. Uh, it's a plus three to whatever you get. Plus three to whatever I get? Uh, 15. Hit the two people that don't get advantage to dex. <laughs> I know, right? No, I have advantage on dex. It's me. The, no, it hits the one. Son person. of a bitch! Okay. Oh, that's still a 12. That's the other one. Still a 12. <laughs> You're kidding me! Okay, it's alright. It's whatever. It's whatever. It doesn't matter what bonuses I have anymore. My god. <laughs> Oh, was the other roll? I said you get an advantage. I had advantage? You, you just said oh, you, I thought you said you had advantage. You said you had advantage. No, I don't have advantage. No. Didn't, didn't Marut give you feline prowess? No, no, no. no. Only Sally and Lemon. No. no. I mean, I, I have... Uh, it's... Well, you know, you see I have a plus seven on there. Which means that... Man... I, ooh! Oh, okay. It's all right. It's all right. right. Maruk, you take 16 fire damage. Lucilla, you take 33. Yeah. Okay, so, okay. No, it's I, not above 20, so we're still at plus yeah. DC 10. Hey, Maruk, roll your um, concentration. Yeah. 
Yeah, we're good. We're good. <laughs> yeah. Good. Do short bow attacks to the scorpion. Or longbow. Um, take six piercing damage, um, scorpion. Concentration or some constitution, and there goes the elemental. Okay, but it doesn't disappear as oh, we yeah. found out. It, it, it is now just not under your control. Wonderful. Well, it has been attacked recently, so hopefully that. Yeah, it's it's pr it's pretty <laughs> focused on on these guys, but it's going to take. Uh, three, this is after reductions, three slashing damage, and then five slashing damage. These, these guys are pretty focused on it. Ten, eight, miss, miss. Riga will... Here. Climb up the stairs. Aim her crossbow at Lemon. Does she get advantage? No, she doesn't. Eight misses. Critical miss. She's still recovering from her, uh, for being knocked out or provisions. She, she's seeing double. She goes, uh. It's like I could sworn I see an elephant man out there, but that can't be right. Lemon turn. Um. Say, so which oh, one should I hit? <laughs> well, the problem is that Lily still is down for the count. I, I got it. Mm -hmm. Um No, if there's something that there's something that takes priority, you should probably deal with it. Like as soon as you can. I got some rolls for death saves, so no worries for now. That's fine. Um yeah, I guess the chimera is a little bigger of a problem at the moment. Yeah, um, I'll be fine for now. Don't uh, worry. Oh shush. Uh, let me turn something on again real quick. And I am uh, going to smack the heck out of this thing. Hopefully. Uh, 27 oh, hits. And this time, that 10 actually does take into account. So, 24 damage. Um, and... Uh, another healing word. <laughs> Uh, Lily Soul is back up. Huh? How? Uh, healing word. Uh, you're up to five. <laughs> oh, thank you. Appreciate you. Actually, I just realized something. I have advantage on dates. Saves. I just... I just realized something, too. Which makes total sense. This guy can fire breath and attack in the same turn. Son of a bitch, really? I, I just realized something, too. My flash okay. genius is only for ability rolls and uh, saving throws. Oh god, everything is terrible. <laughs> yeah. I've been using it wrong this whole time. Chris Bowles has been cheating death this entire game. And I realized something too. I like cake. Yeah. I also realized something. I'm so bad at this game, man. <laughs> Why don't, don't we just? Why don't out. we all just? Why don't we all just forgive and forget? How about we? How about we just say that. the cult? Just say the cultists win. I mean, this group of heroes definitely isn't going to stop them. No, I don't want to. All right, uh, roll a um, roll a death save. 
No, I just got I just got healed right for five, didn't I? Yeah. Oh, you did. Stabilized. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I did healing words. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. You're gonna make me have to fight my dice again, huh, Joey? <laughs> <laughs> the real, the real boss of the. <laughs> yeah, the dice, man. I, I, I hate to be the salty or sour grape here, but I. My my life in D and D has been an up uphill struggle against the dice rolls every time, and every time I'm like, I really do roll as bad as I say I do, and people will be like, No, no, you're just being, you're just looking at the negative side. Then they see it in action, like, Oh my god, I am so sorry. You are the unluckiest human being I've ever seen. How did you? How did you get two? How do you fail these rolls, man? You got a plus eleven on that. How did you miss that? Yeah, I know. I don't um, know. <laughs> you, you you real I'm gonna be shooting the stupid animal in the face. I'm not gonna specify the face. I'm gonna shoot at it with the bow, my crossbow. I, I didn't even know a D20 had a zero. Uh, 19 hits. It better. <laughs> uh. There's an ally within five feet of it, so you get sneak Wait, attack. Wh where? The snakes are not an ally. Yeah, uh, that's an ally. That's a snake. That's a, that is terrain, Joey. <laughs> no, I said an ally of you. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> but okay, cool. Then we got the sneak attack. I think we're speaking. If you were trying to go one on one with it, you couldn't. Because those snakes are. But you know what? You're, you know, you're actually right. Because the hole is five by, f is a ten by ten. The poisonous snakes are not. So you are, <laughs> you are right. Oh, I could just say it's right uh, here, but I yeah, won't. You, you could, you could, you really could, Joey. <laughs> anyway, and then Lily Sula is just gonna, it's just gonna curl up into a ball and sob softly. <laughs> Not really. Not really. I'm just standing at attention as best I can. <laughs> uh. Lily Sula need a hug. God, she needs a lot of things right now. <laughs> Alright, what does the scorpion do? The scorpion is going to um, we're gonna try to hit some things, but we'll see. Uh, the guy to his left is going to uh, be the recipient of two claws, a fifteen this, this. and a seven, and then the one directly below him is going to be the recipient of a sting. <laughs> no, he okay. won't. No, he won't. Um, don't, you have, right. don't you have inspiration? Oh wait, you weren't here. Never mind. You don't. And and I uh, haven't I haven't rolled a single success yet. Well, I mean, maybe maybe. I, oh wait, anyways. All right, the cell mantle is going to attack the one below him. So if you do, okay. basically two attacks for me. You got it. <laughs> I... There we finally. There's an 18 hit. Yes, it's roll damage. Yes. My first damage of the night. No, that's. Not I know, true. and I'm actually doing damage too. Like I'm contributing. I, I like. I'm glad that this yeah. is. Yeah, you you gave Zizix your your dice. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. He's like, I'm, I'm helping, I'm helping. All right. Here. The elemental oh. bashes this guy's head in, and like you know, his head goes into his, uh, goes into his chest. <laughs> Gross. Mortal Kombat yeah. stuff. Yeah. Fatality. Two longsword attacks to the scorpion. Does a sixteen hit? Yeah, uh, sixteen. Let me double check. I think I've got a fourteen. A uh, 16 does it, yep. Okay. You take 13 slashing from the first hit, and then 5 slashing from the next one. This scout will do two longbow attacks to the scorpion, and you will take another 9 piercing damage. Alright, Maruk. You can kind of see that this Chimera's um, looking bloody at this point. Well, it's about to look a bit more than bloody. I'm... You know what? 
We're gonna okay. do something stupid. I'm gonna uh, reckless attack. I'm gonna reckless attack the Chimera. Does that mean you're gonna rage then? I can, I can do reckless, reckless attack, attack without raging. Oh. Yeah, it's just a feature of the Barbarian, I think, because I play one of those in my other game that I'm excited about. <laughs> Strange, I, I have been playing since I was five years old, and I don't think I've ever actually played a Barbarian. Oh, you're missing out. Well, no, not really, actually. It, oh, that's a critical. Is that a critical? It's just a... Yeah, that's a critical. Yay! You're, well, you're, uh, I think it is. You're, uh... Basically, you're just a fighter who hits harder. That's, that's really... Oh, I know how they work. I just never actually played one. Uh, 15 damage. 15 damage, alright. Get out. That's really good. Nice job, Dustin. And, you know what? I'm gonna burn my inspiration and attack again at advantage. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. I'm about to say, what rule is that? But it's just, it's just inspiration. <laughs> Uh, 27 hits. Let's see if I get critical again. Nope. Well, I mean, you already rolled twice there. Um, and I do I'm 7 sure. damage. Oh, I see. This looks different than what it usually looks like. Okay. Because <laughs> I'm... Because for some reason I'm not I'm not able, I'm not it's not letting me roll right. So I'm just doing the roll. So I did a total of uh, 15, 22 damage. All right. I just That's whack, whack. All right. Um. Well, I don't know. All right, so I, I run up to the guy and I cast Booming Blade, and uh, since I'm at level 5, it does uh, 2d8 um, damage to him. And if he moves, he gets, uh, he does 2d8 damage to himself. If he moves under his own will. Yes. Yeah, you still have to actually hit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fourteen does not hit him, correct? Uh, you, have to, you have to attack. You, you have to attack him. Yeah, you roll damage. All right. It's horrible hit die. Shit. That's nice. Nice. All right, and let's see here. Uh... That didn't hit. That does. Eight thunder damage. I mean, that's a spell, right? You have to he uses up that spell on his first attack. Yeah, unfortunately. Ah. That that means he only attacks once, right? Because it's a spell. Yeah, actually. All right, so I guess I'm out. Yeah, that. Uh, that's why you think I got rid of booming blade. Oh, shoots. I thought it was such a good spell. I, oh, no, wait, I still it have it. it. I just don't use it. I mean, it has its uses, definitely. Yeah. And good, uh, good good, on you to replace it with True Strike. So replace it with True Strike, you say? Wow. <laughs> oh, don't. There's an 18 hit Baruch. Yes, it does. All right. This guy runs up to with his broadsword. Or it hits would. Twice. Or it would, if I didn't cast shield. You cast shield. Using my last first level slot, I I cast shield. Okay. Um. So does a, a twenty hit you? Nope. Okay, he runs up to you. T 
attempts to hit you with a sword, but it's blocked by an invisible force, like an inch from your skin. And he like, looks up at you and goes, Sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm not the one who's going to be so. You're. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure you're going to be sorry in a second. All right, this guy does, um. Triple head attack once more. He is. Oh, that's too bad. See here. Uh, one bite, the dragon head. Um, 24. Sally's going to take 10 piercing damage. The ram horns attack Maruk for 24 as well. 17. He takes. No, 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 no. Oh, hold on. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Yeah, you're right. It hits. 24. Right. Maruk hits. takes 15 bludgeoning damage. Claws swipe at Lemon. Does 16 misses, I imagine. Yes. I use my uh, repulsor shield to push him back 15 feet. Ooh. He's against the wall. Doesn't do anything. Damn it. And uh, save. save. Gosh, I kind of wish that, that would have would have done something, like squished him against the wall or something. I think there yeah. is actual knockback damage, but, yeah, oh, but I don't know if that works or not. That's, that's not what the, the spell thing said. It has to be... If you're doing it kind of by like falling rules, um, it's like uh, it has to be like 20 feet or more, like 15 feet or 10 feet. Um, so it doesn't apply here. Do I retcon me not attacking earlier? Nah. Right, scorpion's about to die. Yep. Nope, nope, nope. No, not this time. Hooray! He's balanced dead. Keep that These up. ones are still attacking this elemental. Those archers suck. <laughs> well, they're like... Calibrating in half. I know. Yeah, so I, I, I think only a single one of them actually hit us. <laughs> yeah. Well, I've only made um, three hits out of 24. Or more. Elemental will take three slashing damage. Alrighty. They're chipping away at it. <laughs> what does Riga do? Um... Riga can go to hell. That's what Riga can do. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky old bat. She can get He's looking goal. desperate. Really desperate at this point. Um, she's she already been knocked out once. And she approaches um, the barricade and starts tearing it apart. Oh, that um, sounds like a bad idea. She, you see, like, desperation in her eyes. And you hear this, uh, this roaring and groaning from behind the the wall as it opens up. Another as camera. um zombies. As yep. zombies pour out. Ugh, if these zombies are anything like the zombies we had to fight earlier. I'm I feel like a tactical retreat might need to be in order, you guys. I, I agree. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so if, if, uh, these, I, if these zombies are anything like the ones we fought already, I want no part in it. <laughs> like, Stop we gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> you don't. You don't quite know what it is yet. I know I uh, don't like it from that number of rolls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. And she kind of. Look, if it means that the character has given me insane amount of brain rot for the past three weeks, 
uh, gets to live, then I'm, I don't care if I'm a coward. I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on. <laughs> It just keeps getting better. <laughs> okay. You see one come out not as big or as bulky as the ones you fought earlier. <laughs> Just a baby. But it, but it attacks the first thing it sees, which is a giant scorpion. Of course. So because of course it does. Uh, the scorpion takes four bludgeoning damage. Oh. Getting closer. All right, eleven. Um. I don't think I noticed yet because uh, the uh, chimera is. A uh, bit more distracting. It uh, smacks back. Ooh, nice. So that would be uh, 49 damage. Wow. What? Damage. If the 13. Oh, wait, they both hit. Yeah. Oh, those, that is some high radiant soul damage. That's a big, hey, big do, numbers. <laughs> how, do you, how do you kill this giant chimera? Oh my god, it's dead? Uh, manages to uh, uh, just uh, uppercut the uh, uh, the lion and uh, mid, uh, mid air, uh, or like uppercuts it to where he's now flying in the air, spins. Uh, and smacks the uh, the dragon's head uh, in the side, which knocks it into the uh, uh, into the goat's neck, which accidentally it bites, and uh, then just collapses. Uh, Super Saiyan Lemon is my hero. <laughs> Does it take radiant damage on each one of those? Because sometimes you don't yep. know that. Uh, okay. uh, I, uh, uh, the radiant damage is for um, uh, when he goes into angel mode, and uh, I, I okay. can turn it on and off. Okay. Um, yeah, this thing was going to take off, but it was cornered, so it couldn't, couldn't really do that. Yeah, you see? Um, you see, Chimera do try to run away. They don't fight to the death. <laughs> Table throw. <laughs> well, I mean, like before, it was going to try to... But, like, it would take, like, five attack opportunities. So the Chimera, like, accidentally bites itself to death in the confusion. And you just hear Riga yell out, No! What did you get for being a punk? Saying, you're all gonna... You're all gonna pay for this. Oh, I'm already paying for it, honey. It's alright. <laughs> Death by undead jaws. That's what did you'll get. Fight, didn't we already fight undead jaws a couple weeks ago? Yes, in yeah. fact. He allows hesitance for letting that crazy priest hold his own dead here. But now it's going to be worth it to see them rip you apart. Oh, um, and before the end of my, my spell, I, I also use my bonus action to cast Shield of Faith uh, on Lily. Plus two to your AC. You are my hero. You are the wind beneath my wings right now, Lemon. <laughs> the Lemon is the one with the wings right now. I know. I'm really sorry you're having to do all this stuff to keep me out of being dead. <laughs> That's what a black is for. Oh, I appreciate you. All right. Man. <laughs> Well, Zizix is, I feel that, you know, he's doing a good job keeping these things occupied while they were able to take care of that chimera. I'm going to do the... 
I'm gonna try to hit the one to my left with a couple of claws again. I hope you hit him. I mean, I do too. I do too. I do three. Claw. Eighteen! There we go! Finally! Okay, so he's gonna take three bludgeoning damage, and... Um, he, yeah, which one are you hitting? Uh, the one to my the left. One will... Okay, three. Is yeah. he, uh, is he p pinched? He is, has to make a DC 12, either acrobatics or athletics, your choice. And if he fails that, then he is grappled. It's a two. Right, so he is grappled. So what that means? He can't. He can't move. He can't move, and that is it. Okay. Um, and so I guess since I'm holding that guy, I might as well try to pick up with my other claw the one to the south of me, directly below. Hey, a crit success. So I hit the one below me for um, nine plus seven damage. 16. 16, yep. And he also needs to make a DC 12 save, otherwise he is grappled. Rolls a... 14. Alright, he doesn't. He manages to get out after taking that damage. And For some then... reason, <laughs> my, my rolls aren't adding the, um, the bonus to skill checks, right. but I'm adding them manually. I'm okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, finally we are going to try to sting uh, the one that I have grappled mechanically it doesn't do anything different it's just a normal attack nope. 17 you want to hit the other one it'll kill him Ooh, if he fails his constitution save he's going to take an additional 28 though it's up to you no, I want to go after the one I'm holding. So he, he uh, takes 10 piercing and has to make a constitution save. Which he passes. Boom! Okay, so just 10 piercing. Right. He's looking hurt. Good. Um, Rock Elemental is going to turn around and make two slam attacks. So if you do yep. two attacks for me. You got it. Boom. Boom. 21 and a 12. One of those hit. Alright, the damage on that will be... Wow, 14. Okay. Clean up the board a little bit here. Alright. Two long sword attacks to the one that's grappled. Gonna nope. try and attack you. Nope. But he misses twice. Uh, Are you these did. adding the. Yeah, plus five. Yeah, now you know how I feel. <laughs> Sometimes rolls. I was just making sure since. Yeah. I was just making sure since, like, the other ones weren't. Right. Um, okay, Lucilla. Oh, God, okay. Riga yeah. is. Very hurt. I'm like. So you know. Um. Well, she's got a homie right here. You gotta. Do... I'll take care of the homie. You take care of Riga. I. Can I shoot past him? Cause I don't think I can shoot past him. No, let him run front. Front of you. Yeah. Yeah, I got a dude right in front of me. I can't do much about that. I gotta. I. Um, as long as you don't move away five feet from him, you can go around him to shoot. Yeah, but that'll get me closer to the zombie, too. Can I, can I make a suggestion? But yeah, you don't have to listen. No, hold, your, hold your action. Hold my action? Wait. Like, hold your action and I, I'll take care of this guy and get him out of your way. Okay, tells you what. If if I can do that, then I'll do that. 
I'll hold my action of shooting my crossbow. Uh, um, uh, until you get a clean shot. Until I get until a clean, I get a clean shot. shot. Got, yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. Maruk is just gonna I mean, be like... You can just move right here it. and do it. <laughs> Would you allow that? Are you okay with that? Yeah, I mean, you're have line of sight that then you okay. like, have a clean shot. Okay, cool. Then we'll do that. Then we'll. Uh, right. I'm gonna take my. Uh, I'm gonna take my crossbow shot. There we go. I actually rolled it like a man this time. But you're not a man. man. Uh, twenty-two hits. That's not a sneak attack. No, it's not. Six damage. And if I remember right, that's still uh, about half of what she she has right now. Yeah. She uses her reaction though and takes half that. Yeah. Nope. Don't worry about it. I got, I got her. It's all good. It's all good. So. <sighs> mm. Oh not drawing cute pictures of Lily Sula, you're drawing cute pictures of Lily Sula. She's not drunk, she just couldn't try Okay, to time to leave. <laughs> yep, here come... Come the zombies. Oh! Yeah, this. It, yeah, it's time to get out. Oh, I hate a parade. <laughs> This over here. This one will actually start attacking the uh, the duder. It's a miss though. Well, this one too. This one's gonna attack the um, elemental, which is a critical, and he shatters. All those rock rocks shatter into a million pieces. Yep, time to go. These guys have the same idea. This is gonna run. Do you think we've done a good job oh. scaring them yet? <laughs> um. You get, you get an attack of opportunity if you want to hit him, Scorpion. I want to try to hit him. I want to try to hit him with my tail. Twelve. Uh, twelve misses. Yep. Runs up here. He's going to use an action to unlock the front gate. So this this door is now unlocked. And he's just like panicking, you know, like, ah, oh, they're, they're free, they're free! Idiots. Oh my god, I can't believe this. Oh. Oh, it, no, I guess we're leaving out the front door. <laughs> well, we're, like this. we're kind of blocking the other exit. Yeah. This one opens the door. Right, uh, I turn to this guy next to me and say, Are you going to attack me if we try to leave? <laughs> He's like, it's like, why would, it's like, why would I leave? You're going to kill the kill our master. Oh, God. Turn around. He calls his boss master. I'm not falling for that. <laughs> Cringe, bro. Turn around for the love of Every all that is holy. Get a little oh, bit. Yeah. <laughs> give, me, uh, give me a persuasion check. I do Roll. intimidation. Intimidation, sure. He's like, fine. He turns around. He sees these uh, zombie ogres. Crawling, like breaking open the wall to uh, the outside. 
And he goes... Uh. He goes, oh, for Time War's sake. <laughs> He's just, like, staring dumbfounded with his back turned to you. Well then. Well then, I'm out. Um... Second level, as a bonus action, I guess, second level Misty Step. That is 30 feet. And, we, and just like so up. And I appear here, and I'm like, guys, it's time to go. And, I, and then I use... And then I, I guess I, is this front door open or do I have to open it? Uh, that that one is, but not the other one. Uh, why are you leaving that way? Um, both yeah. both doors are unlocked. I unlock. I open this door and I and I start making my way out. Oh, okay. And close it behind you. Why, man? Why, man? Both of these. Um, front door, so let's see what the other one is. Uh... That tells, unless you count that intimidation as an action, I still have an action. Count it as an action. <laughs> um, the, uh, you have to unlock the front doors too. Uh, uh do I have the key? Can, is there a latch or something, or? Yeah, there's a latch. So I unlock the front door. Right. As my object interaction. interaction. I'd be object interaction, wouldn't it? No. Shoot. Yeah, I just unlocked. I. Yeah. Yeah, we'll just unlock it. We'll call that match. I still have. Uh, let's see. Here. I, ha I still have. With me. Okay. Then. Unlocked and and I'm gone. I have already left the bit. I have already left the battle. Ah. <laughs> it's Sally. Okay. Um. Let's see here. What can I do to ruin everything he's done? Uh, this giant over here, I see he has knives and stuff sticking out of him. That's his flavor. It's a giant undead zone, um, ogre. Oh. Is he wearing anything metal? He has a morning star. Hold on a second. Hey, Chris Bo, can you do me a yes. solid? What's a solid? Say that again in a transatlantic accent. Is he holding anything metal? That, that's not... no... <laughs> that's that's across the Atlantic. No, it's trans. Like tra it. <laughs> Does he have any metal on him? That's just in. That's that, that's, oh, the, oh, trans that's well, the transatlantic. Oh, that's the transatlantic. Oh, is that trans yeah. like for ra for radio? You mean transatlantic? Yeah, yeah, that's All the right. one. Okay, because I was thinking of like a uh, language from like a. Uh, yeah. Now you did Norwegian. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Norwegian. I yeah. liked it though. Yeah. It was it's good. Pretty good. Yeah. 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 Is he holding anything metal? There you go, thank you so much. I appreciate that. <laughs> oh, you made, you made my night, Crispo. <laughs> Alright, well. right, um, I'd like to cast Heat Metal on this big ogre's morning star. Okay. Probably too stupid to drop it. That's what I'm hoping for. And now I thought we were leaving. Yeah, um, Sally, uh, leave. Uh, can I, no, can no, I it's move? fine. Don't worry. Yeah, it's, it's, it's still every movement, yeah. All right. I, I get the feeling that it, she is always so stubborn that she wouldn't even bother. You, you, you can do that, or you can come the way through the ruined wall. Uh, she'll go through the ruined wallway because she really likes those snakes. You can basically yeah, make your way out that way. Make him away um, downtown. Walk <laughs> oh, then I want to go right here, so I'm out of the eyesight of the uh, of the creature. All right. 
This guy has the same idea. He gets our opportunity attacks from the ogre, and no, he he runs. Well, first of all, he runs away. See the ogre hits him. I would say he, I would say he disengages if I were him. Unless he's trying yeah, to he's like disengage. Him. You're right, disengage. But he falls into the pit of poison. <laughs> he's like to scream bloody murder. Now we never did actually trigger it, so uh, so it was still uh, still hidden. Sally sees the whole thing and she's smiling in the, inside. Dash. Oh, jeezy, Pete. So, so I'm attacked with the scorpion 17. That'll hit. Alright, you turn back to Zizix. Take right. four bludgeoning damage. Okay. These zombies doing more damage than the other guys. I'm gonna be back to Zizix who took two damage. Oh, what was that? Hmm. Oh my god, I don't know. <laughs> kind of crazy. <laughs> just just I, I, I can't see anything. I'm gone. gone. <laughs> yeah, first one to leave. Yeah, I was. <laughs> I, I saw the. I saw the writing on the wall. And it was time to go. Right. Riga basically disengage um, disengages. Yeah, Climbs up the wall, jumps off the edge. Was she gone. Just kind of cusses under her breath, like God again. <laughs> I'm sure these people. Okay. Are... You're holding an action, Lucilla. So. Oh, no, I well, not anymore, but. Yeah, you weren't? Yeah, you changed your mind to. Yeah, um, you changed, yeah I changed to uh, shoot because you allowed it, so. Okay. You're right. You can say you can shoot her once you left. Nah. It's Never cool. mind. She, she just. Right. Nuts. Riga is gone. Um. And with your primary target gone, are you just gonna everyone I'm, escape at this point? I am dashing like everybody else. <laughs> oh, we so. killed them. Well, they are scattered to the winds now. Yeah. So there we go. I would argue that this isn't a this is a, this is a success. Yeah. Awesome. But uh, I, okay, I'll argue this after we all get out. <laughs> Lemon, you grab Louis Sula and you pick her up yeah. and like an angel um, fly her to safety. As I do so, um, just to make sure that we safely do so, <laughs> turn on hope. <laughs> 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 well, well, his boss and asked her, bro. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well. So, uh, just to just to make sure that. Uh, they give us time to leave. Uh, everything, uh, all of the undead in a thirty-foot radius. So, uh, all of them, uh, they can possibly be scared. But yeah, if, so I'm if, not gonna do a save and throw a free twelve of them. But I will yeah. say that throws them into disarray enough for all the band, all the bandits to also escape. So, um, most mostly to give Zizix time to leave too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So you all managed to escape, and after a few mo after uh, after a while, the, the zombies are just kind of wandering around the uh, tower like aimless. One guy dies of, yeah, uh, after, of heat, right? Yeah, one guy just burns his hand, burns him to death. Oh, um, um Zizix, when you leave, uh, pick up Zerifus. Okay. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you dare that. order a queen around? A king around? Mm hmm. That was ordering a king around. Oh. How dare he? <laughs> uh, oh. He's making he's making a request of his royal I majesty. I shall I shall carry him upon the royal shoulders. She. She. Sorry. So. <laughs> you um. Close the front, like you. You see the bandits closing the front gate again. Okay. And uh. Lock it somehow. 
and, and um, th there's a handful of them, like gathered some bit away outside of the tower. In the, in the, it's Merc. the giant elephant man, kind of looking at him like, so that's yeah, so, the leader. So that's the leader you chose to follow, one that would set undead upon you. That was a very interesting come to Jesus moment. Yeah. And as they're kind of co uh, contemplating that, the rest of you, um, we killed them. you know, make your way to the circle. Um, and they go, Riga was a, a great leader. Yeah. Um, could have fooled me. She panicked at the first... She no, panicked? This is, this is just her M.O. She's always got people who are suicidally loyal to her, and they'll do stupid stuff like... That wasn't... Know. That wasn't panic. It's calculated terror. Yeah, calculated terror. You're up there. One of them says she knew that Chimera since it was a cub. It was family. You're only lucky those zombies didn't rip you apart. So are you, to be perfectly honest. And mark, and mark my words. She's not going to be happy with you. No, she's going to leave us alone for 24 months and then show up randomly at a bar. It's okay. Well, she knows where we're at. You gonna kill us? Sally doesn't have any problem with that. There's a do snake you, right here. Do you want to die? You'll fear death. They look around and I don't. I don't know. Love them go. Love them go. I, not. Not necessarily. But yeah, well, they did run away from the zombies, so that might be a good litmus test for that. The freaking zombies, man. <laughs> Yeah, pretty bad, right? Yeah, I, I, I gotta, gotta have to go with him on this one. This is all Although, I'll tell you, I'll tell you what, though, you guys. He tells us what? Is it you guys are worth more to us alive because there may be bounties on your heads. And here, get this. Yeah, you'll be in prison, but you'll get three hots and a cot every day, you know? Mm -hmm. So, you know, we can come back and turn you guys in for the bounty and... You'll be safe, you know, away from Riga. Cause she's not gonna check a jail for you guys. She's gonna think you're deserters. You guys want you want me to roll some, uh, something for that? <laughs> cause I think it, cool. me, I'm gonna help him with that. Cause I'll be like, yeah, I mean, do you think she? Do you? Does she look like a boss that that is understanding a failure? Yeah. Would she give you three hots and a cot? No, she wouldn't. No. Yeah. Roll uh, persuasion. Okay. With advantage, oh. just to get the help action from Maruk. Cool. Thank you, Maruk. I appreciate you, buddy. It, if that isn't derailing anything too much. Oh my god, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Your first crit. <laughs> one of the persons, one of the people do to say, it's like, remember how she, like, feeds people who, who aren't loyal? She used to feed them to Ash Breath? She goes, yeah, that was pretty effed up. Yeah, pretty messed up. Pretty In fact, I wonder if we were, I, I wonder if we were just following her mostly out of fear, saying, "Yeah, that makes a lot of sense," because she agreed to house zombies, not just regular zombies, roided up zombies, and not just roided up zombies, but ogre, freaking ogre zombies from cr some some crazy death cult. Yeah, as we were saying, I don't think she was the bit. I don't think she had your best interests in mind, guys. Yeah, definitely not three hots in a cot. You know, I was gonna say, you guys could get rehabilitated. You guys could, you know, reintegrate into society again and be contributing hey, members. Hey, you'll be at ground level at a town that is rebuilding itself. Yeah, that's a good go. place to be. It's a great place to be. You know, if, uh, if I were you guys. I mean, I just know Rico from. Talking from reputation alone. I just don't like any of what I heard, you know? 
Anyway, sorry, you were saying, Joey? Um, they kind of talk amongst themselves. Going, uh... Yeah, I think we'll... take you up on your offer. Hey, you know what? This is the best decision you guys ever made in your lives, because thankfully, it won't be the last decision you ever make in your lives. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> hey, that's hey, that's 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 yeah. <laughs> And hey, a friend of yours has already made this decision. Is probably on her on their yeah, way back to town. Yeah, on her way back to town. You, one of your friends is out there, dude. <laughs> they they decided to turn their lives around too. You guys are making a great choice here. All right. Um, how do you escort these guys back to town? I got some rope. Um, we'll just yeah. tie them up so that they're bound. They've got their arms bound together, and then they're just kind of daisy chained together. Can we take the snakes with us? I, I, no. We could put them in the bag of holding. No. And we'd have to deal with them every time we went to the bag of holding. <laughs> yeah. Uh, air does not get into the bag of holding, though. <laughs> and we do not poke holes in the bag of holding to get to let air in. I know. Oh, at at uh, a portable hole. Hey, that'll do it. <laughs> Yeah. Yes. Universe. <laughs> as you're as you're walking through the swamp, um, Louis Sula, what is your passive perception? My passive perception is pretty bad. <laughs> Ironically. <laughs> yeah. Uh, her passive perception is. Sorry. Um, it's nine. It's nine. Rob's only nine? Yeah, you commented on okay. it. Forever ago, too. Yeah, I did. Yeah, it's based on wisdom. Hey, what about mine? Did you... I'm not asking you. I'm asking for uh, hey. All right. Lucilla. Yeah, he's listening. Ask for the Lucillas. You quite easily um, notice when a bloodied Riga comes running out from some uh, swamp brush some some swamp trees no way with her with her sword raised screaming bloody murder at you me specifically and, uh, <laughs> yeah oh. she knows you're the one most hurt but okay. before she can reach you you turn around quickly Take your poison dagger. And stab her in the, in the she's gut. Lucky. She's lucky it doesn't have any charges. <laughs> <laughs> in her eyes go wide. Then gloss over. Oh, and then crap. she... Then she dies. Um, leaning, oh, leaning against you. That's not a way well, to go. Well, it was a self-solving problem. Gosh, you know that could have been any one of you guys. She could have, she could have tried stabbing you guys to, to make you not squeal on her and all that stuff. But now that she's dead, you guys will, you know, you'll have a, you'll be free living once you're out of jail. Yeah, she have I mean, on her. Yes, let's check for that. Actually, we should probably look to see if she has anything on her person. But I have information on how to control these zombies that she unleashed. Well, no, she no, she was just storing the zombies. She had nothing to say. Yeah, she may not have uh, what we're looking for as far as that's concerned, but... Well, hopefully there wasn't anything valuable in the fort. That that reminds me. Um, and addresses it to the, um, uh, to the bandits. I, how did she get them? Oh, yeah, the zombies. You guys, somebody said um, something about there being. Uh, yeah, she like, mentioned that she was. She specifically mentioned that she was holding them for some cultist of Merkel at one point yeah, when she was trying yeah, to. Yeah, one. Of, yeah, and one of the bandits go. Oh, we were we were hired to um house these uh zombies for the cult of Merkel as they uh you know as they prepare. For whatever they're doing. 
Uh, we may have to come back and clean them up at some point. Oh, when, when, uh, when, uh, there. When we have someone who what? can cast Fireball, we will do that. When Verapis decides, when Verapis finally comes back around, we get a nice good rest. We'll come back and we'll throw fireballs at this place like, <laughs> it, like it was going out of style. They said they're, eventually they're going to find that crack in the wall. Not all of them are going to... And some of them are definitely going to get free, but they're not our problem now. Let's no. swap deal with them. No. Very. Uh, one of the ogres is going to step uh, step on the trap, fall halfway through, and, uh, and get stuck. That's, that's the way to do it. Well... That's a job well done. Kind of. <sighs> the the bandits are routed out. Their leader is dead. And we have a bunch of them uh, captured. Mm-hmm. And we get a bounty of five million on each. <laughs> so, um... Everyone's favorite gar uh, sergeant, uh, Sergeant y Yoram, is the one who uh, posted this bounty, and he's uh, stationed at the barracks, which um, is the House of Thalvar. I thought our favorite was Jessup. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say that. Yeah, just he's not a virgin. sergeant. He he's a private. Oh yeah, and nobody's seen him for months. Yeah, we've heard him though. Yeah, heard him for months. <laughs> Sergeant Urim just looks at the chain gang you have there of, of uh, criminals. He goes, uh, Well, I guess you took care of the bandits. Yeah, yeah you could say that. He goes, uh, and he notices the body you're holding a Riga. Yeah. And that's the leader. Yep. We wanted to bring her warm, but she uh, got the jump on me, scared the hell out of me, and stabbed herself on my knife. <laughs> she seems truly, like an idiot. Truly seems like accidents can happen. I was going to say, I'm, I'm kind of, I would argue that I'm kind of a bigger idiot, so, like... <laughs> But I'm, well, the, I'm the idiot who's alive, and uh, so so it. geniuses. Uh, we don't have a jail. Where do you expect us to keep all these guys? You don't have a jail. We got a clubhouse. Well, the haunted could, tower. You have a, you have a not you have a, couldn't clutch up a tower a jail from one of the empty rooms of the tower. You mean the cages that were holding the. Inter interdimensional creatures from 300 years ago? You want to put people in that? That tower? Well, I mean... Do you think you could fit a cod in there? That's not very humane. I don't know if others are going to like that. I don't really have much of a problem with it. I mean, they're bandit scum, but... Uh, we'll we'll make it work. We'll um on the next shipment out to uh, Neverwinter. We'll uh make sure these guys are put away for a long time. Well, I think sure. I they promise did, they did surrender themselves willingly. I'm just gonna let you know they after stabbing me a couple times. But that's that's not <laughs> yeah. I mean, they were, yeah, they you are. don't you could you don't have any you don't have any. Back breaking jobs around here that need some. I was gonna say you guys are in the process of rebuilding a place. Maybe they could work yeah, he, out there and get to society. They, he, they were he, uh, three pots in a cot. Like yeah, three pots in a cot. It was a pots in a cot. Um, yeah, he like gestures around. He goes, yeah, we have an entire town that needs rebuilding. Give me a persuasion check. Whoever's okay. trying to make him decide uh, to then that. become workers. Yeah, I'll give help. You give help? Okay. You guys can help. Help Lily Sula. 
She needs it. Okay. Sally's gonna do a uh, like a cheering dance. <laughs> oh my God! Thank you. Thank you, God. <laughs> oh my God! Really? <laughs> wow. This is the yeah, see, so you, you have about a half a dozen bandits here. Yeah. Um, and he's like, I don't know if I can trust all these guys in good words. I'm going to have to put some people on guard duty, protect their rooms, but I mean, God knows we need we need more workers. If you're running hey. low on guards, you could always have these bandits be guards. You could guard themselves. Hey, warm uh, bodies or warm bodies? <laughs> what? He goes, I... You know what, we'll, we'll make it work. We can, uh... I'm not gonna keep them in animal cages, though. I mean, even I have some limits, I guess. I was just suggesting maybe find an see. empty room and put a door on it. With a lock. At a cost. I was gonna say the thing is, you weren't expecting us to bring these guys back warm, were you? He goes honestly, uh, you I know you're kind of new here, but these guys have been very thorough. In the past. Well, um, but this he, way says, he says we'll we'll make it work, and maybe we can. Uh, these guys can build their own prison. That kind of is a sweet irony to me. Oh, that's a that's a good one. There you go. So your guys' yeah. prison accommodations will be as comfortable as you make them. See? You make an opportunity out of this. He, uh, because I <laughs> believe I, I believe I owe you I believe I owe you, um, he checks the notes. 1,000 gold? That's crazy. Okay, whatever. 1,000 gold. <laughs> I already added it to the shared inventory. Yay. <laughs> and it's already gone. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Do we get any bounties so as, on the people we brought in? Um, that's like part of the bounties. Oh, okay. A thousand gold. Can I? And then can I like confer with my team? Hey, sure. can I send about um uh two hundred of that gold back home? Can I do that? Sure. Okay. I mean, I don't have any problem with it. Do you, Lemon? If you guys don't have a problem with it, that'll be fine. Uh, um, no, no, but no, what is it for, out of curiosity? Well, yes, that is. Um, well, as it happens, um, my many, much of my bounty hunting um, earnings go home, uh, where my father is being taken care of, and so I mostly just earn money to send home to make sure that my dad is being taken care of. Who is your dad? Oh, he's he's a retired adventurer. Named? <laughs> oh. my, my, my dad's name is Jared. Jared Rabara? I believe you. <laughs> yeah, how much of your history has you feel that? <laughs> I did. I did actually think about it. I just I wasn't expecting to get asked right away. <laughs> Setting um, two hundred gold afar is quite suspicious. Uh, oh. So I want you to take two hundred out of that, and uh, Randy, I want you to add two hundred gold to your personal inventory. Okay. All right, taking it out of the uh, shared inventory. Thank you. And you can uh, Can't really choose to do that. Anymore. What do you want to do? Um, so Sergeant, uh, Yoram, like, takes the rope and he goes, okay, you guys, come with me, and he kind of leads them to, uh, one of the rooms. They won't have to buy a lock. That's gonna be a pain. <laughs> I'll well, that's gonna help and, uh, out. one of the doors open, and, um, it's a face you haven't seen in a while, but it's, um, it's, uh, the wizard, um, Galio. Huh. He's kind of, he's kind of stayed in his, in his uh, a tower these these past few months. Um, even though it's not primarily a wizard tower anymore, he's a. Uh, he's still um, been staying here, but he looks much more, uh, 
lively, a lot more colors in his cheek, and he doesn't have the heavy bags under his eyes, but it still seems like he might be a little overworked still. Uh, Mr. Libro, you're looking a lot better than the last time we saw you. Oh, it's, uh... Well, being possessed every night does take a lot out of you. Yes, it would. Oh, but it's... Really opened my eyes, though, to what Thalvar's like. What with Thalvar's work, though, it's it was fascinating what he was doing. I mean, it led to destruction, but I, I think I don't know. I think I might be able to improve on what he did. Oh, be careful there, because there are people looking for the ruin stone. Oh, I'm take. I'm taking every precaution, but the thought of inner planar observation is a uh, is something I can't pass down. I mean, uh, true, but my peers at the order of the uh, my peers at the order of the starry sky um, are just are, are just so interested in, in what can be accomplished here. True, but do and, be careful where you look. Because sometimes when you start looking, things start looking back. Oh. Uh, how, uh, how do you actually plan to uh, to get the stone? He goes, get, get the stone. No, I just want to repair the, the planar beacon so I can observe the, the astral realm and realms beyond this one. Oh, okay. I, I had assumed that the stone was necessary for that. I'm not. I'm no, not no, familiar no. with magic. <laughs> um. He kind of ponders. He goes. I can just tell by looking at you, Mister Maruk. I've poured over my books, in the library. Uh, you're not from here are you no sir i am not i have i have uh i have wandered far to say the least and he gives you a look and says well perhaps this beacon might help you in some way if not just to catch a glimpse of your home world again of your home oh. plane Oh, that'll be fine. I'm honestly, I'm enjoying myself way too much here. So many no interesting thistles things. in the other town. Uh, Merc kind of blushes because she's not my girlfriend, guys. Guys. Lily Sula, it just yes. dawned on Lily Sula that uh, Sally's questions were more that. Uh, that she was making sure that I wasn't doing a typical rogue thing and trying to squirrel away with money that uh, I probably shouldn't have. Correct. <laughs> and she, she just like has this th this moment where she, it just kind of dawns on her, and she's like, "Oh, uh, yeah." And then and then uh, she <laughs> offers to take Sally with her to uh, the post to uh, to uh, send it off to her hometown. And I, uh, yeah, so if you want, if um, you just want to do that story wise and send it off to uh, yeah, if you town, um, you, you just wait till um, you know, there's no post office. Oh, what well, kind of is post office? You just wait till the uh, yeah, that uh, pigeon air cobra comes by next, and um, you feel you give him a, a big pouch with 200 gold pieces in it and tell him to. Go wherever he needs to go. Yep. Let's go on. Go on home. Go on, get. Go on home and take care of dad. So that's where. That is where. That's that's where most of her money, or like her earnings and bounty hunting, actually goes. It is. It is to take care of dad. <laughs> that's it. That's awesome. Yeah. If I still had inspiration, I'd give you inspiration for that. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say. uh what do you still have inspiration? Inspiration from have... last last game? Okay. Yeah, I do. Never mind. Yeah, I, I still, still have, have it. it. 
I think I still have mine from like four four sessions ago or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I just used mine today. Yep. So good, I didn't need it. Lily Sula is a bit of a cinnamon roll and a daddy's girl, so. <laughs> Right, um, it's the same day as when you left, but is there anything you want to do in town? Long rest. Yeah, I think we're done. Long for rest. <laughs> yep. And I think we need a day, a day to recover uh, before we go for the next one. Yeah, I'm going to go to the I zombies. I we, probably need to, we probably need to put uh, Verifus to bed and maybe yeah. put some soup yeah, or something. something. She's are all we, tuckered out. Are we going to go back to clean out those things? Imagine the loot. I was gonna yeah, say. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think it'd be in our best interest to take to clear out some of them zombies. Had you guys seen those things before? No. Yeah, we we fought uh, we fought one earlier that got, that had apparently gotten out, and it hit like a train. Okay. Wait, hold yeah. on. Uh, it hit about as hard as Maruk on a bad day. <laughs> yeah, but the ones you fought were like, were like uh, much more powerful zombies than what you were accustomed to. Yeah, but the, the the ones we just saw were a lot bigger too. Yeah, yeah. So I think we need to be at full power. Yeah, now I've got a we couple of fun, fun spells and things that can help with big things. Yeah. What to say? You all get a long rest, so you can do that. Level um, 11. A long rest? Do I get a fully heal on that? Oh, yeah, a long rest yeah. is everything resets. Um, that they send a patrol out to the uh, the tower. Um, and there was a reason why they were kept in that dark room because when they were set free they basically the big ogres basically broke through the, do the front door since they were open um they found their way through the uh broken wall and some of the ogres just naturally broke through some of the outer walls and um they only found a few of them hanging around the uh inside of the tower, which were, they were easily disposed of. Um, the rest and the of other them. ones just kind of oh, wandered wow. off it, wandered off into the swamp. Uh, bro, I'm sure we'll wander into them again someday. So, yeah, there's that to look forward to. I want to say one of you comes with them. Who, uh, who, who goes with them? to? Uh, Ellie. Uh, I, I I go. I go. Mert goes. Well, why do you get to go and Sally doesn't? Sally because... likes seeing death and destruction. Sounds like Sally. You can I go well, I go along to supervise the Sally. Sally's a strong, independent woman. She don't need your help. I'm not worried about you. I'm worried about everyone else. Right. I, your dad would be upset if we let you out without a chaperone. That too. <laughs> oh, lousy dad. All right, she accepts that she's pushing the swear button every single step of the way. <laughs> Mark wouldn't have it any other way. All right, so you see near the uh, the front doors, you found um. We found uh, a crate with two flasks of alchemist fire. Oh, that's the fun stuff. And I want I just... someone, whoever went that with the um, with the uh, scouting party, to roll me a perception check. Uh, would you say smell was involved? <laughs> no. Okay, I didn't see. Well, that hey, I see where all the twenties went. <laughs> all the twenties sucked away all 
So right. I. Yeah, that's that's the rule. Um, twenties only end up showing up when you never need them. Either yeah. that one. That one. You don't find anything else of a uh, of value in there. The place has been torn up, and the rubble is just too dense. Okay. Yeah. All right, good job. Um, that's one quest down. Yay! One the best. I know it's a little right. bit early, but I think it would be this would be a good time to call it a night. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. We're not, oh yeah. Yeah, this is it. We're not going on. For sure. yeah. <laughs> he calls his boss Master Cringe, bro. <laughs> <I love it. laughs> 